Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to answer the question, which angles will always be congruent to angle one if all the side strips are parallel? Well, this is an example of a question that uses parallel lines and transversals. And so depending on how many side strips that you have, we'll just use two as an illustration. The answer to the question really depends on the location of angle one, but there's a couple of laws that you can keep in mind to determine which angles always be congruent to the given angle. So let's just say you have your transversal here, and let's just call this angle one just for illustration purposes. Now, there's two kinds of angles that will always be true when it comes to parallel lines and transversal and given the location of an angle. One is corresponding angles will always be congruent to the given angle. So in this particular case, because angle one is over here hypothetically, other angles that have this kind of pattern will also be congruent to it. So in this case, this angle, which is just like this angle, is going to be congruent to it. Now, another angle that's always going to be congruent to the given angle is that of vertical angles. Sometimes they call them opposite angles, but vertical angles are going to be angles that are immediately opposite angle given. So for example, this is angle one here. The angle that's opposite this angle is going to be this one. So this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. And also, because we say that this corresponding angle is congruent to angle one, this angle will also be congruent to it. So basically, what you have here is one, two, in this illustration, three angles that are congruent to angle one. So the corresponding angles and the vertical angles will always be kinds of angles that will be congruent to the given angle that's provided. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that answers the question, which angles always be congruent to angle one if the side strips are parallel?